Coming out of the junior lightweight division, 12 rounds of boxing, Nate Campbell against Tiger Martinez. 12 rounds from Uncasville, Connecticut. Tiger, Ultra X. Yeah. Chappone, you ready? Tiger Martinez, 22 and one with nine knockouts. And he is entering the ring. Tiger Martinez, many felt won the first matchup between these two men. Back in May of 2003. Although it was a draw. Well, I'll tell you, the fight was strange because Martinez dominated early landing, landing those right hands. Campbell knocked Martinez down. Late in the fight, clearly came on. Big time to make it close. I agree with Brian. Most people had uh, Martinez deserving the win, but it was close. And hey, another reason Tiger Martinez needs to win and win tonight and move up quickly. He'll be 36 in another week. Tiger. A 13-year pro, undefeated in his last four fights, 3-0-1, which included a strong performance against Nate Campbell back in May of 2003. Get some last-minute hugs before he heads into the ring. Trains at the Powerhouse Gym in Corona, Queens. Has good skill, speed, and movement, and uses his jab to set everything up. Tiger had a had a year layoff. Changed his trainer to John David Jackson from Buddy McGirt. So a lot of changes for uh, Campbell as well. All right, a look at the tail of the tape. Well, you see Tiger Martinez, 35 years old. The numbers are very close, but Campbell is a pressure fighter. Tiger Martinez has to box. The height and reach doesn't suggest that, but that's just the styles these guys fight. And the rules of the bout. The three knockdown rule is not in effect. No standing eight count. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The doctor can stop the fight. And it will be scored on the 10-point must system. Three judges scoring this bout. Now let's go to our ring announcer from WFAN, Mr. Sid Rosenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bella Entertainment and HD Nets Broadway Boxing. Presented by Mohegan Sun from the beautiful Mohegan Sun Arena right here in Uncasville, Connecticut. Tonight's fights are promoted by Debella Entertainment, sponsored by Turner Construction and HBO Sports. This bout is sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribal Department Athletic Regulations. The chairman is Mark Brown. This bout is the eliminator for the number two ranking in the IBF's junior lightweight rankings. IBF supervisor in attendance is Daryl Peoples. The three judges for this bout, Donald Trello, Glenn Feldman, and Dr. Clark Sammartino. The referee is Michael Ortega. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of junior lightweight boxing. In the blue corner, wearing red with white trim, weighing in at 129 and a half pounds, a pro record of 20 wins, only two losses, one draw, nine wins by way of knockout from Lefrak City, Queens, he is 
Tiger Martinez. And in the red corner, wearing multicolored trunks, weighing in at a ready 129 and a quarter pounds, a pro record of 24 wins, only two losses, one draw, 21 wins by way of knockout. Reigning from Jacksonville, Florida, he is Nate the Galaxy Warrior Campbell. All right, gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Run over the rules, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up and come out fighting. Mike Ortega right, with some last minute instructions. Okay. He's the third man in the ring. As Tiger Martinez prepares to take on Nate Campbell in the rematch. Who do you like in this fight, Brian? Well, Nate Campbell has been in the training camp for about two and a half months. All set. The first round would tell me the tell of the fight. Campbell quickly out of his corner, lands a right hand. Campbell working fast. Martinez trying to circle. Just Nate Campbell's a great body puncher. I don't expect that to be that easy to do in this fight because Tiger moves quite a bit. He's not going to engage Campbell on the inside. But I'll tell you what, just looking at their bodies, to me it looks like Campbell's the bigger fighter. But the thing here, Nate is applying nice pressure. He's working a jab, and he's also throwing body shots. Martinez wedged in the corner, and Campbell throwing. Accommodation to the body. There's a right hook to the body, followed by an uppercut. Now he left hooks the body. No answer from Tiger Martinez. Yeah, Tiger doesn't want to be on the inside with Campbell. I think he's a little confused that Nate started a little too fast for him. Right. The back, I see it. And Tiger right. complained quite a bit Keep about it up, butts okay? Keep it up. because Tiger cut Stay there. Stay there. Watch over his left eye in that fight Watch. badly. He said he couldn't see Campbell the whole second half of the fight, and that's why he slumped in rounds uh, five through ten in that fight. Beautiful body work by Nate Let Campbell. Let him out. Let's go. As Tiger Martinez right. holds on. All right, watch the hold. The hold. Nate is not allowing Tiger to get in any comfort zone. First fight, Tiger was able to get a little comfort zone early on in the fight. It's not the case here. Put your heads in there. Break! Box. Martinez keeps his hands at his waist. And Nate Campbell is like Punches a runaway front, train in, in the first out, round. Nothing right. stopping okay, him from clean. getting in. And when you're fighting an aggressive fighter like a Nate Campbell, and you are a boxer, you want to move and pivot, what should you do? Well, quite honestly, you don't want to move that much when a guy's coming that fast at you. Because a guy can move faster coming forward than you can move him backward. But you want to throw stiff punches, make him feel every punch coming in. And that may slow him up in a couple of rounds. But you don't want to move that much. Stiff jab, they can run into everything. Let him go. And I'll tell you what's happening right now. Let him go. Tiger Martinez is trying to hold, and Campbell won't let him. Especially when Tiger had his back to the ropes there. Martinez was getting pushed off and getting pounded to the body. This is a very impressive high energy first round for Campbell. So break, obviously break. Campbell right. has right noticed right that right there. Martinez right, twice, refuses to twice. fight twice. inside and will take a warm wow, Campbell about early in the fight. throwing low punches. And that's big, Gus, because an early warning. That early can cause Over point there. deduction. Oh, you got him way low, okay? Let's and go, keep him up. Tiger Martinez answers right back. But that's what you're taught to do as well. If somebody hits you low, you hit him back. Especially in Brooklyn and Queens, <laughs> New York area. That's what, that's what we're taught. <laughs> yes, right. Can you move what you're doing? Put that jab on, you get inside, touch him. Nice and smart, that's what you're doing. Nate Campbell is trained by former WBA and WBO junior middleweight world champion John David Jackson. And John David has a pretty good second man in the corner. Yeah, I noticed that. That's, uh, <laughs> well, you know, John David Jackson at one point of his career was trained by Emmanuel Stewart. And Emmanuel Stewart doing a little move. Oh! And Campbell drops Martinez with a straight right hand. And Tiger is in trouble. 
seven. That's it. We're going to stop it. Come to me. Tiger Martinez trying to shake it off. 20 seconds into the second round. Campbell putting on all the pressure. Martinez covering up. Campbell, can he finish it? Martinez goes down again. Four, five, smart six, by Smart by Nate. The first round, he attacked hey, the body. Up. You see, come to me. All right, let's do something. Here's Campbell walking in. Left hook catches Martinez as he holds on. Break, 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 break. Let him out, let him out. Step back, step back, step back. But A lot of time remaining in this round. Big right hand by Campbell. A left hook sends Martinez back to the ropes. Martinez trying low to put blow. up a low blow. Go over there. Very low. Time, time. Stay right there. One point. Low blow. Wow. One point. What a break for Tiger Martinez. So early for a deduction from Campbell. Okay, and Martinez might have been stopped there. He bought himself 15 seconds. Campbell still chopping at him. Keep those punches up. Keep them up. Now Martinez coming back. He's still not too clear though. But I like what Nate did. The first time he attacked the body, the start of second I came off with a headshot. Oh, a big right hook by Campbell. And Martinez wait, somehow wait, 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 stays wait. on his oh, feet. Oh, oh, watch your head coming in. Watch your head. A minute remaining in the second round. Leg's not too steady. Not at all. And Martinez falls no down again. No, no knockdown. knockdown. No knockdown. No knockdown. No knockdown. Hey, let's go. Less than a minute. He has to survive this round. Get back to the corner. Get some water on your head. Watch him. You better keep him up. I'm telling you. Hey! Step back. Step back. There's like dual themes now to this fight. The fact that Martinez is so hurt and the fact that Campbell's digging himself oh, a hole. Oh, and another right hand puts Three, Martinez down. Four, and he'll take five, an eight count. Six, seven, eight. Come here. Come to me. Come to me. You all right? Put your hands up. Let's go. Do something. Campbell loading up. Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep those punches up. He cannot be saved by the bell. Martinez is wobbly and somehow makes it out of the round. Welcome back to Broadway Boxing. Nate Campbell. Stay there. All business. And the doctor is going to allow Tiger Martinez to continue. Here comes Nate. And that's a rule I really like, Gus. The extension of the one minute rest period to let the doctor have a good look at the fight. Keep him out. Break. Let him out. Okay, listen, stop the holding, all right? You're I'm right, Steve, because too often now. the doctor step in during a minute. He doesn't give the corner, you know, the, the proper minute to, to instruct the fighter. Exactly, especially when the fighter's cut. Keep those punches up. Keep them up. Okay, this is it, guys. Right. Martinez hitting Campbell low. Ortega makes him continue. Let him out. Let him out. Right. Well, you know, referees sometimes dig holes for themselves by war issuing uh, formal warnings early in a fight. You can't keep warning a guy. You have to start taking points away. Ortega's already done that to Campbell, and we're only in round three. You're holding him. But you know, Tiger should have expected a fight like this. He should have expected Nate to come out and be more aggressive. He should have trained for that. You hold it. Okay, let's go. And regarding the deductions, we saw that recently in the uh, Rocky Wireless Zahir Rahim fight, where the referee no, no, backed no, no, himself no, no. into a corner, another oh, low blow here. And now, time. Martinez will have. Real low that time. That's the second one. Next, I'm going to take a point. You understand? Well, he I'm will not a have point. a point Stay taken right away. That's the second time he's hit. I told Nate, don't Campbell tell low. I already told Stern him. one in there. I'm going to take a point next time. You, you ready? Box. All right, at least they're on even ground now. Nowhere to run for Tiger Martinez. So that's a mistake he's making out there. Get some respect. Stand right. there with up. Nate and get Let some respect. Step, step, step back. If you keep moving back, he's going to come keep moving forward. Right. Let him out. Let him out. Martinez doing a lot of holding. He's trying to get his head clear. 
I'm sure he's still a little foggy after being knocked down in the second round. Campbell shoe shining with Martinez on the ropes. Watch your head inside. Watch your head. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Mike. Mike. Let's see how uh, how much patience Ortega has for Martinez is holding. Mike. All right. Go, go over there. Although Nate Stop is holding, a lot of power. We'll take a point next time, okay? You're holding. Stop Stop wanting to hold Yeah, there you go. Here's Campbell again. Cutting off the ring. He's got Martinez in the corner. Chopping oh, right hand. Step back. No, 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 no. Sorry. By Campbell. Martinez trying to dance his head clear. Your head inside. Watch your head. Watch your head. And look at the focus of Nate Campbell go. tonight no, no, compared to when he dropped his hands and got KO'd in a real dumb move against Robbie Pete in his last fight. Total focus here. He's not letting up at all. A clear low blow. Time. Yep. Good By call. Martinez, one and one point will be taken one point. away. One point. Low blow. His legs still are not blow. steady, though. All right? You got to keep him up. I have to disqualify you. Let's go. All right? Both of you, keep your hands up. Martinez in trouble. From round three. Keep it clean. Martinez has spent a lot of time on the ropes, and notice how Campbell mixes his punches. He started with the right upstairs and then brought it downstairs. Very effective. Campbell. That's a low blow by him. Martinez there. Ortega lets it go. Right. Campbell has landed more punches, 77, than Martinez has thrown, only 70. Wow. And the total punches through three rounds. Another low blow by Martinez and another point taken away. One point, low blow. Okay, that's twice already. Next time, you're going to get disqualified. That's two times for low blow. Stay right there. You all right? Let's go. All right, here comes Nate Campbell. And a big right hand by Campbell, getting through the guard of Tiger Martinez. As Martinez continues to back up. Gus, it's pretty clear Tiger Martinez has no answer right now for Nate Campbell. And you know what? Very easy to see him losing his focus and punching low again. Not that he's intentionally trying to get knocked out, but he may not have the discipline to and the focus to stay and do what he needs to do to keep fighting. There it is. There That's you it. go. This is fight is it? over. And I know Ortega does not want to call it, but he has to. This fight That's has it. come to an end. Fight. Courtesy of three low blows by Tiger Martinez. And Nate Campbell has avenged the draw with Tiger Martinez over a year ago by this fight being stopped in the fourth round. And I'll tell you what, Gus, the last couple of low blows were very low. And basically, Tiger Martinez gave the referee no choice. And Steve, you called it before it happened. Meaning, Martinez without the discipline to refrain from throwing low blows. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. He didn't really, uh, I don't want to say he didn't care, but he wasn't in the fight mentally or physically. And he couldn't, uh, he couldn't get away from Campbell. We'll see a look at the low blow here. So Nate Campbell brutalizing Tiger Martinez through four rounds. Campbell landed 75 of 150 power shots. Here's a second low blow by Martinez. And there's no doubt about that. Here's another look at it. There's no doubt about that. The Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut, where Nate Campbell has walked right through Tiger Martinez. Let's take a look for the final time at the final punch stats. And Campbell, a warrior, landing 46% of his punches, throwing 191, landing 87. Different story for Martinez, who backpedaled and ran at times in this fight. He's disqualified for three low blows.
So Nate Campbell improves to 25-2-1. And, and for the official decision, let's go to Sid Rosenberg, who's in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, referee, referee Mike Ortega calls the fight at 150 of the fourth round. The winner by disqualification, and now the number two ranked IBF, IBF, I should say, junior lightweight in the world, Nate, the Galaxy Warrior, Campbell. So Nate Campbell, obviously he was focused, Brian, for this fight after the draw over a year ago. He came out and from the very opening bell, just brutalized Tiger Martinez. You're right. He repeatedly said over and over that the first fight was a fluke. He came here, he proved that it was a fluke. And our Steve Farhood is in the ring with the winner. Nate, the Galaxy Warrior Campbell, that was an out of this world performance. Did I work tonight? Did I work? I didn't, I didn't show no signs of slowing down. I felt like working tonight. Tell me something. The DQ, do you feel at all disappointed that... It's a knockout to me. Well, that's what I mean, it's that, that it denied you a knockout win? Yeah, it denied a knockout win, but look, after the Peden fight, and I do want to step, step in, um, say something about the Peden fight. After the Peden fight, a lot of people thought that I would come back and take someone soft. I didn't. I fought Tiger Martinez. Somebody gave me the toughest fight of my career, and I did some great things tonight. If you watch the fight, I put my work in. And I just want to say to everybody involved in boxing at the 130-pound class, I am coming for those titles. Believe it or not, what you got around your waist belongs to me. I'm just waiting patiently for the fight tomorrow night. In essence, Nate, this fight was over, I don't know, was it 10 seconds in? You landed an awful big right hand, and really, he never recovered. Did you see the left hooks? To the body, especially. Yes. But the right hand, early on, you hit him in that first round, and that was pretty much it. He never really, he started running, and he started holding. Let's take a look at the Mohican Sun replay, and you can uh, tell us what you see. I was backing him up, giving him that head movement like my coach told me. Missed with the right hand, came the body shot. You hit me low. Now, that, that's, that's the end of the fight there. But right. before that happened, you were warned low a couple of times. Point was taken away from you. And I was saying on the air, hey, what's going to happen first? Is Nate Campbell going to score a knockout or is belt, he going to get disqualified? All, you look at where his belt is now in his shorts. His belt was up here from the start of the fight. They were complaining about my belt when my belt was below my navel to start. So you don't feel you were hitting him low? No, I was sitting around the belt line. Around the belt line. I felt like I did my job. You see me, I didn't, I didn't let it break my stride. When I went back to the corner, my trainer, John David Jackson, and Manuel Stewart, who was helping me out in the corner, said, Nate, don't worry about hitting, hitting him to the body low. Winging around the side, you got a great hook to the body. Here's the knockdown. Oh, I wasn't playing tonight. I, people thought I was joking. I was not playing at all tonight. Like I said, I'm serving notice on these guys in this division. I am going to be the next world champion in this division. And most of all, I want to let people know, Mr. Robbie Feeding, I'm coming. Now, after you got warned and got the, a point deducted for hitting low, Referee Mike Ortega warned him a couple of times, and he lost the point. The he, obvious question, do you feel he was hitting you low at the end there to get out of the purpose. fight? He, what he was trying to do was he didn't want to get knocked out, so DQ was fine with him. But at the same time, he, the knockout was evident. If you saw me at the end of the fight, I was as fresh as a daisy. I came. I went three months over to California. I haven't seen my daughters in three months. I have done everything in my power to get prepared for this fight, and I showed it tonight. Nate Campbell back in the junior lightweight picture convincingly erases that draw from his record against Tiger Martinez. Oh, Back to Gus. I just want to thank everybody out in California, man. I want to thank all the gyms out there. I want to thank um, the guys up in San Luis Obispo, um, Santa Barbara Boxing. And I really, really, really want to thank the guys down in Anaheim, all the gyms down there, um, um, Westminster this Boxing Club. They've been so good to me. Very good. Get, congratulations, Nate. All right, Steve. So Nate Campbell, victorious this evening.